Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're over on the test server link in the description if you want to get onto it. But we're on the test server because Belinda Skin has dropped into the game. We've got the event for that. We've got a really nice labyrinth event, and there is also the new voyage in the game as well. So let's check it all out. Okay, so firstly, this Belinda skin, you are going to be able to buy it for $15 from the store as usual, but there is also going to be exchange for it with the event. So let's go over here into the event. Shout out to Gwendolyn for letting me use the test server account because I want to see all the rewards and my free-to-play account is not far enough into it. So if we go into this event here, as you'll see, there's exchangeable rewards. Now, you got the normal heroes. I think there's going to be a few disappointed people when I scroll down a little bit further. You've got you got Orthros and Zolrath. Both of these guys are amazing PvP units end game, but really hard for anyone to build. So those guys, they're they're an option. You know, they're good. However, for a lot of people, it's going to be a very long time, especially if you're free to play before you get much use out of them. So you may want to go for these guys. You may not. We do have the Belinda skin at the same cost as a normal hero. So for me. If you're not using Belinda and you're not a fan of her, I'd rather go ahead and pick up the copy of a hero. You, I guess you've got the option to buy her later on if you really want it. Uh, we do have the red emblem chest exchangeable 30 times. I feel like in these events, every time they do them, uh, I'm actually a big fan of the furniture items too. Uh, now, like I, I'm really keen to get those, but I still think this one is going to be the red emblems that you're going to want to go for. Just it's standard across the board in these events. They're just they're, they're so hard to get that they make it worth it. Also, a big note that I only just noticed: the food tickets seem pretty decent value in this one as well, um, being forty-five of these. So the, for the same price as getting twenty of uh, twenty of the red chests, you can get an elite elite food hero from the faction. So for ninety, you're going to get elite plus food. I honestly think for some people the food might be a better option. Um, the once again the furniture items they're not too bad, but I just feel like you get enough of them free to play. Like just it, it just it for me I just find that the red chests are way rarer. But having said that, if you're struggling on food, the food might be a good option. I'm actually torn on what I'm going to do for this um, for some of my accounts because some I really need the food on. So. We'll see how it plays out, especially if you if you can't actually get like because I know the, these things only release over time. So on my free to play account, I probably won't have the red emblems there, but I would have the food. I'm assuming, so I'll definitely go ahead and take the food. But two really good options there. Um, obviously, the Belinda skin if you're a collector and you really want to pick that up. Uh, I'm probably going to leave it. I'm probably going to leave it, to be honest. If I get desperate later on, I'm like, oh, that is the best skin in the world, then I'll probably just buy it. But there's too much other good stuff that you can get from this event to warrant buying the Belinda. The Zolrath and the Orthros, for most people, I'd say no. Maybe for whales, you might want to go for it. But in general, it's going to be a toss-up between the emblem, red emblem chests and the, uh, the food tickets there. So now we'll look at how to get them, but there's another event going on which we'll go into as well. So this is going to be the hearts that we exchange here. Now, what I'm actually going to do is we'll go ahead and check out the other event, which is the Pearly Presence. Now, this is an event, and I've never had any interest whatsoever in these type of events. They just, it, it seems like just a popularity contest to get a frame, and I... <laughs> I just really don't care about the frame that much to do it. But hey, if, you, if you're keen to get this, I don't know, I guess change your profile image. Like the, the, There's psychology things to get people to donate to you. I don't know. I feel like there'd be a big Reddit war. I, I, I don't know. People want this stuff. As you can see, this one here climbing up. Uh, I believe this one on this frame here was actually one of the same events. So this person knows how to get them frames. If I, if I remember correctly. Otherwise, I could be completely wrong, which I probably am. But anyway, these events, it's basically a popularity contest. You get these pearls. As you can see at the top here, I've got some pearls. Uh, and you, when you have them, you don't actually use them. You've got to gift them to someone. And there's a popularity contest. And whoever gets the most gets the frames. So <laughs> go give them to people. It's cool. If we look here, uh, leaderboard rankings will be determined by the amount of pearls play people receive. Yada, yada, yada. They claim pristine pearls from Voyage Wonders, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so what it, what it basically means is you can go to your friends list as well. 
So let's go to just this dude here. And down the bottom here, you can see the send button. You can choose how many you want to send to your friends. So if you really want that Belinda frame, uh, go ham. I don't know. I've never understood those. Apparently, people like those events. So it's a thing. Anyway, I'm not going to stress too much on those, <laughs> those things because, like I said, if, if you're into it, you, you, you'll look it up and find out the stuff. Anyway, for the hearts, which are the ones that matter, you can get them from daily quests, uh, chess, then Voyage of Wonders, AFK rewards, and event deals. Now, the AFK rewards, I collected mine uh, when I got into this, which was like 17 minutes into the event, and I had two of the pearls. That was it. So I don't think... And I, and I had about 21 hours of saved up um, time. So I don't think saving up your AFK rewards before the event is going to make a difference. I think it only starts counting after the event. So you've got the event deals as well. Typically on these, if we go to those deals, they're not not too great. Normally it's going to be the $1 from the daily deals, which I'm pretty sure is this one. is always going to be the best value. I don't think they're ever really going to change that. Yeah, this one's not as good on hearts. So if you're if you're a light spender, the, don't ask me about the currency on this either. If you're a, a light spender, uh, the dollar deal is generally always going to be the best one. Um, but yeah, let's jump over back into this. Have a look at the other ways to get it. So like I said, daily chests. So we can get those. As you can see, you're going to get some of the pearls to send people, but also some of the hearts, which is nice. And then we're going to go ahead over to the Voyage of Wonders where we're going to get some there from the Black Woods, which is the new one. We're going to get 40 hearts there, which isn't too bad. And then you're going to get 20 more hearts and then a bunch of a bunch of the pearls to give to someone for the popularity contest. I just, I can't help but laugh at these events. I don't get them. But uh, if, if someone's really into these events, let me know what I'm missing on it. Because uh, it, it's, 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 a, it's a frame. I guess if it was like a cool skin for a hero, I'd get around it but I still wouldn't like the concept of it. But hey, that's pretty much it. So that is going to be it for that event. Like I said, you get you get those things, daily quests, voyage, AFK rewards, and event deals. Cool beans, get them, buy your stuff. Uh, definitely stick towards the red chests and the food, in my opinion. Then we're going to move on to the next event, which is going on, which is the Labyrinth of Limbo. Now, this one looks wicked looks absolutely wicked so i'm so glad they did this like i didn't even think about it until i read it and i'm like oh that is such a good idea so the like i don't even try and read this text up the top like i, I was trying to read through it and i was just like getting i'm like what is this event and then <laughs> then you read the bottom the yellow text rewards will be doubled um all items except gear sold by the arcane labyrinth roma will be doubled so this is like this is like the better solution to daily labyrinth because daily labyrinth made the game more of a grind but gave you double the rewards so you do it this just gives you double the, re the rewards for doing the same thing i think this is fantastic i really like it i really like it the cool thing is gonna be so let's jump in and yeah, you're going to 210. Normally these ones are at around the 100. So the the, the interesting thing is going to be is, and I'll probably do some more math on all the packages later on, um, whether it's going to be worth it. I'll, I'll get that out before it actually drops onto the global servers. Whether it's going to be worth buying some of those packs. Like if you can find some red emblems from the merchants in the labyrinth, which the merchants normally appear on second and third floors. If you can get some doubled and I'm, I'm pretty sure i'm reading that right so uh, uh, hopefully it does uh the rewards will be doubled and all items except gear sold by the arcane labyrinth roman will be doubled i'm not sure whether this means it's going to be the cost doubled as well i'm assuming it'll be cost doubled because that would be way too awesome but if the cost isn't doubled, it may be worth going ahead and actually buying some stuff from there. If it is doubled, it's the same as usual and you just skip it. But that is pretty much it for the event. For those that didn't see my previous video about the Belinda skin, I'm sure we can look it up here and have a look at the Belinda skin. Uh, it's nice. It, it, like any upgrade for Belinda is an upgrade. <laughs> Let's face it, it's pretty common looking. But um, this one, Test Hero, it looks pretty cool. I, I, I do like... I, I do like just the look of the in-game sprite. It just looks pretty smooth. If she go ahead and do her alt, please, please. Definitely reminds me of Sophia that. It looks like she's building up the water bowl, but hey, it's cool. But I ain't I, I ain't gonna I, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna waste perfectly good fodder or uh 
or red emblems to go ahead and get the blender skin because uh, I don't really use it too much. But anyway, that is going to be it for this, these events. Uh, like I said, I'm pumped for the Labyrinth one. I think that's a fantastic idea. Saves the grind of Daily Labyrinth and lets us do it again and get some goodies. Happy days. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.